16 years old and excited to carry on the legacy of an ultra legend. It's Nal Yure Robich, and his name says it all. Nal's father, the late Yure Robich, was the five time Ram champion and 24 hour world record holder, amongst his many other achievements. And his life and legacy continues to inspire all of us as ultra cyclists. On today's episode, we have the honor of speaking with Nal about his already eight years of cycling experience on the road and on the dirt, and his future plans and ambitions for ultra cycling. We'll be joined by another ultra cycling legend from Slovenia, the one and only Marco Ballo, an elite ultra racer, Ram veteran, world record holder, coach, and previous guest on this show, who will be sharing his wisdom and experience as a mentor for Null and all of us. He was also, you know, he was on the bike a lot. You know, he was doing trainings pretty much from the morning and, you know, eight hour rides, you know, he was home at about, you know, seven. He still uh, gathered that the rest of his energy, you know, to make me happy and, you know, play with me, you know, things like that. He did. He did a good job. Now, Marco, coming back to you, you were a road racer, UCI road racer from 1985 to 95. So that was 10 years. How old were you when you started that cycling career? Old. I mean, I was <laughs> like 18 years old, 18 years old. Huh. Actually, I did it uh, for longer until... 2003 was my last uh, 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 to the to the Slovenia, you know, the semi-professional. Uh, but I was probably 95 was uh, I said that year because that was uh, the year that I got the job. You know, the longest ride I did was about 350 kilometers in one day. You know, that's it's maximum. But we we started you know our training in you know like 7 8 a.m in the morning and then we came back you know 7 8 p.m in the evening actually never train 24 hours anymore because it just takes too much out of you so i just do those long trainings as, as a, in the race when they're when the races are on not this year so i would say up to up to what you did 12 hours so 10 to 12 hours it stops what I do now. It's always uh, easier to do it in a group, you know, and uh, you kind of push each other because if you're alone after 200, it kind of... You're tired, <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you come close to home, you know, yeah. But yeah, you, you're right. You have to have a passion because it's just too much hard work to do it if, if you don't if you don't love it. There's no way I, I, would, I would be able to do it at anybody, you know. The sweet spot or, you know, the thing that I would like to, you know, to be good at, in this discipline is being, you know, having a big stamina, you know, being, you know, riding as hard as possible for the for a long period of time, you know. Yeah, I think that's that's the best sport that you can pick, you know, for traveling places, uh, meeting new people, especially. And that's a big difference, probably Nell already mentioned a little bit. The road racing is kind of, you know, docky dock, you know, you just have to beat somebody to win. You know, just like it's different because you kind of race uh, with yourself, you know, you, have, you want to do your best. Uh, and Check out our website for a full list of episodes, our YouTube video library, and of course, follow us on Facebook to get the latest and greatest straight to your feed. And if you're on the go, be sure to download our audio episodes from your favorite podcast platform, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Until next episode, Ultra Family, keep spinning ultra. Ultra.